y equals ax minus h squared plus k. This is the turning point form of a quadratic equation. Here's an example. y equals negative 3 times x minus 3 squared plus 12. The advantage of this form is that it only needs the final direction and two points to draw a parabola. And this information is quite easy to get, unlike the standard form. It will give us enough to do a rough sketch, so let's have a look at how this is done and then see what else is needed to create a complete parabola. Good day, guys. This is the math base. To get into drawing this parabola quickly without too much detail, you only need three things, the final direction, the turning point, and the y-intercept. So, step one, find out which way the parabola finishes using the a value. From the equation, we can see a is negative three. If you have watched my video on standard form parabolas, you'll know that negative a values make the curve finish downward. So the parabola will have a sad face. Step two, find the turning point. This equation is called the turning point form because you can read the turning point immediately from the equation as h and k. But be careful with h, you need to take the opposite of what you see in the bracket. As for the k value, take it as is. So h is positive 3, while k is positive 12. So the turning point is 3, 12. Step 3. Calculate the y-intercept. Since the intercept sits on the y-axis, its coordinate will have an x value of 0. So sub x with 0 in the equation and find the y-value. And our y-intercept is found to be at negative 15. With this, there's already enough information to do a rough sketch of the parabola because we know where it turns and the y-intercept guides the overall shape. But if you need an accurate sketch, then we must do step four, find the x-intercepts. Just as a side note, some graphs like these two don't have x-intercepts because they never touch or cross the x-axis. In those cases, we would stop at step three. But coming back to this one, we can find the x-intercepts by letting y equal zero and subbing that into the equation. Rearrange it so that x becomes the subject. So three will minus or plus two, giving us one and five. So the intercepts are at one comma zero and five comma zero. Plot these out and we can draw an accurate parabola through. And don't forget to label the points and write the equation for the curve. And we're done. So in summary, if you only needed the graph for understanding a problem, then a quick sketch without the x-intercepts is usually sufficient. But if you needed more accuracy or you were required to sketch a graph to get some marks, then it's worth going all the way. So if you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please leave a like and let me know what you think in the comments below. You can also check out my other videos in the Quadratics playlist. I upload videos every Thursday. So subscribe and ring the bell to stay in touch. Thanks guys. See you next time.